and in business, a research and policy analyst at the Institute of Energy Security, IES, Sachet Derek Emmanuel, has indicated that Ghana's power instability, known as Dumso, is not a recent development, but rather predates the current gas supply challenges announced by WAPCO. Here's more. According to research analyst Hatcher Derek Emmanuel, the country has been grappling with a power generation deficit of about 600 megawatts since the beginning of the year. This is on the back of a joint statement by the Ghana Grid Company and the Electricity Company of Ghana announcing a three-week interruption in power supply due to reduction in gas supply from Nigeria. According to Gridco and ECG, the intermittent power supply as a result of the reduction in gas supply due to the maintenance works being undertaken by a gas supplier in Nigeria and is projected to last three weeks. The maintenance has caused a reduction in overall power generation capacity in Ghana, which could result in load management over the course of the work. However, Mr. Hatche pointed out in a statement that most of Ghana's thermal plants have the capability to operate on alternative fuels such as light crude oil, heavy fuel oil, or liquefied petroleum gas, aside the Sunun Asogli Power and Ameri plants, which rely solely on natural gas. With adequate financial backing, he added, this plant could potentially meet and even surpass Ghana's peak power demand. According to Mr. Hache, from January 2024 to June 4, 2024, Ghana experienced a doom saw of about 600 megawatts. With the new development, WAPCO has announced a gas supply challenge, causing ECG and GRICO to issue a joint press statement. The end effect is that Ghana will experience more doom now, a research policy uh, analyst for the Institute of Energy Securities, IES, Derek Emmanuel Hacha, joins me on the phone for uh, more on this. Ms. Hacha, thank you for your time. You're welcome to Newsbeat. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Hello, good afternoon. Thanks thank for the opportunity. Right, thank you. I, I think it's about time Ghanaians just, you know, get convinced that uh, power suppliers are not being honest with, with the people and with the issues at hand. Not so? Exactly. Uh, policymakers are just not being truthful with Ghana. Sorry, you can amplify it. Yes. Yeah, uh, so policymakers have just not been truthful and sincere with Ghanaians or transparent with Ghanaians. Basically, the, because of the political connotations of the term doom so. And nobody wants to be associated with a term doom so. And so they were just looking for a convenient way to be able to announce to Ghanaians that we are now experiencing doom so. And so we decided to check the data and cross check and we realized that we've already been having a generational deficit, which definitely led to these doom so for the past six months. And so just uh, now that uh, Ghana uh, WAPCO is coming out with this release of a shortfall of gas supply, it doesn't mean that we do not have the capacity to be able to generate power. Of course, we have an alternative for supply that we can use, which is the liquefied uh, petroleum gas or the liquid uh, crude oil, or we are talking about the HFO. We can make use of any of these things to power our thermal plants, with the exception of only two power plants out of the almost 11 to 13 power plants. Only two. That is the Sony and Asogli power plants, and then the Ameri power plant. They are the only two plants that rely heavily or only on natural gas. And when you add their capacity, it is almost 900 megawatts. And if you take the statistics from Energy Commission, it states that we have a dependable capacity of over 4,756 megawatts. This is according to the Energy Commission. So their projection for 2024 is that when you take all the hydropower generation plants, the thermal plants, and then the renewables, when you add them, we have a dependable capacity of 4,756 megawatts. And so compare that to our peak demand, where they projected that for the year 2024, it should have a peak demand of 3,788 megawatts. It means that you're having an excess of over 1,000 megawatts. So suffice that this uh, gas supply that is coming is going to affect only the Ameri power plant or the Sony and Asogli, which is still less than 900. It means that we should be able to generate power to meet our peak demand. And so if now they are just using that one as a convenience to be able to tell us that because of this reduction in gas supply, 
um, because um, from WAPCO, we will not be able to generate enough power to meet our peak demand. Then that's the power of fossil because already we've been uh, already experiencing doom so. And then it's also because we do not have the money to be able to procure these fuels to be able to power the thermal plants. Emmanuel Hatcher, thank you for speaking to us here.